Peller and it is grading. Peller comes from the Latin word pelo, which means to look pale or fade. Pallor is a condition in which person's skin and the mucous membrane turn lighter than they usually are. This is due to the result of reduced amount of oxyhemoglobin. When we see the sites to look for pallor, those surfaces of the body which have large numbers of superficial blood vessels with only slight natural pigments, such as lower palpebral conjunctiva, tongue and oral mucosa, nail beds and the palm of the hands are the most common site to check for pallor. First, let us see about looking for pallor in the lower palpebral conjunctiva. To see pallor in the lower palpebral conjunctiva, first, examine in natural light, then request the patient to look upwards and simultaneously pull the lower eyelid gently downward, thereby exposing the lower palpebral conjunctiva. The lower conjunctiva has a half moon shape and has been divided into posterior rim and anterior rim. As you see on the image, the posterior rim is the portion of the half moon shape attached to the sclera, while the anterior rim is or the front portion of the half moon shape attached to the eyelid. Normally, the anterior rim is of bright red color in, and in sharp contrast to the posterior rim which has relatively pale fleshy color. Based on the lower palpebral conjunctiva, pallor is said to be present if the anterior rim is not markedly redder as compared to the posterior rim. And severe pallor is considered when both anterior and the posterior rims of the palpebral conjunctiva have the same very pale fleshy color. So we can say pallor and the severe pallor by looking at the palpebral conjunctiva. The second is looking for pallor in the tongue. Ask the patient to protrude the tongue and observe the dorsal surface. The tongue and the oral mucosa look visible pale or severe pale in the case of uh, anemia or in the case of decreased oxyhemoglobin. So we can also estimate the degree of the pallor as no pallor, pallor and the severe pallor as you see on the image based on the color of the tongue. The third is looking for pallor in nail beds. Inspect the nail beds and compare the color with normal pink color of the nails of a healthy individual. And the nail beds might be pale due to reasons other than anemia also. So we can see normal nail bed color as you see on the above image and pallor in nail bed in the middle one and the severe nail bed pallor on the lower one. The fourth one is looking for pallor in the palmus. Ask the patient to display the palmus, and the palmus should not be overstretched. Compare the pinkness of palm with your palm or with that of healthy person. Next, observe for the pallor of the palmar crisis, and this is done by hyperextending fingers and stretching skin on either side of the crease. If the palm is mostly pale, but the crease are darker, there is some palmar pallor. If the palm is very pale, almost white, or if the palmar crease are also pale, then severe palmar pallor is said to be present. As you see on the image, on the left side you see the normal palm of an individual, a healthy individual, in the middle one, a palmar pallor without involving the palmar crease, which shows some palmar pallor, and on the right one, a severe palmar pallor because it involves the palmar crease. So this is how we grade. Uh, pallor based on observing the uh, palm of an individual. Thank you for watching.